Okay, so the question here says, Sebastian throws a ball up in the air from his balcony. Uh, he records the height of the ball over time. His results are given in the table here, okay? So there they all are here. And so now what we gotta do here is we're supposed to determine the equation of the quadratic regression uh, that models the path of the ball. And then we're gonna do a couple things with that. Okay, so the first thing we gotta do is get the data in there. So here's a calculator. So we press stat. Edit, and we're going to put the, the time in list one and the height in list two. So it's going to be 0, 0.5, 1, 1.52, whoops, yeah, no, 2.53. And then, whoops, whoops, sorry, got to move over to the next, ah, got to move over to the next column here 16.5, 24.3, uh, 29.6, 32.5. 32.9, 30.9, 26 Okay, so just double checking that the data has been entered in correctly. Okay, we're looking pretty good. Uh, now, I'm gonna quit. And out here, uh, we're gonna press stat over to the calc, and then we, because the question tells us to do this as a quadratic regression, so quad regression. Uh, it defaults to X list is, is list one, Y list is list two, that's what I want. Press enter on calculate, and so here we go. And so the equation, as we see it here, and I'll round this to the nearest, let's say 10th, because when I go to the calculator, I'm gonna use the, the calculator's memory of this equation here, so negative 4.9, uh, let's say uh, T squared, plus 18.0t plus 16.5. So that's the equation that we're looking for. Now the question's asking, what's the maximum height of the ball? Well, to know that, I really wanna see the graph here. So I'm gonna press y equals. Now I've got some data in there. I'll just press clear and clear. And then I want the regression equation to go in here. So I will press vars right there because the calculator remembers everything in a variable. Specifically, when we enter data in this way, this is a statistical variable. Now I'm gonna go over to EQ, and the very first option I get is the regression equation. And when I press enter, it puts the entire equation in there for me. Now, I, I don't exactly know what the, uh, what the window setting should be, so I'm gonna press zoom number six to take it right back to the standard zoom settings. It's thinking, it's thinking, there it goes up, comes back down again. Okay, now, I don't exactly know how high up it went. I gotta figure that out here. So I'm gonna go to my window here, but it does make sense to me to put a zero in for the X min and a zero in for the Y min. Now I saw it hit, go come back down and through the X axis. So 10 is probably big enough here. Uh, but for the Y max, I don't know what that should be. So I'm gonna take a guess at it. Uh, when I look up here, the largest number I get up here is this 32.9. Um, so I don't know, let's maybe make this Y max, oh, sorry, yeah, the Y max here 40, see what happens. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I can see what I need to see here. So now I'm looking for the maximum height there. So I will press second calc to get into this menu right here. I'll choose maximum. And now I'm gonna bring the cursor over. Yeah, there it is. I gotta move to the left of my maximum, press enter. Move to the right of my maximum, press enter. And I wanna make sure that that maximum is in between these two triangles or the two lines there. I just press enter to get past the guess. And I get that we get a maximum at 1.8 seconds. And my maximum is 33.0 when I round that. So what's the maximum height? 33.0 uh, meters, okay? The next question is at what time does the ball hit the ground? Well, it makes sense to me to, to see this, especially based on my window settings, that this, where the, the bottom of the screen here would correspond with this, uh, the ground here. So I'm looking for that x-intercept. So I press second, trace. This time I'm looking for the zero. So I'm gonna move the cursor to the right. I'm gonna stop here though, not quite there. Press enter, and that puts a line right there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of bury the cursor there uh, I know it's going to be to the right of the of the x-intercept here because of the way the curve goes. Press enter, and then yeah, you can see it. It's a little bit to the right of the x-intercept. It's waiting for me to press enter for the guess. I don't really care what the calculator makes as a guess. Press enter. 
and I get 4.4 seconds rounded to the nearest tenth. That's how much time it takes for the ball to hit the ground.